Okay, so this is how to go through Lock and Dam 3 in Red Wing, Minnesota. Uh, we called ahead earlier to get status. If you need to do that, they monitor channel 14. Just tell them what direction you're in and that you're a pleasure craft. They don't care about the name of your boat. So you would say something like northbound pleasure craft, uh, requesting a lift, what's your status, and they'll give you a time. A uh, couple of key things when you're coming up on the lock, don't go roaring up there. Wait till all the boats are out. You want to be going really slow well before you get to the lock, just out of courtesy. Because if you pull up to the uh, wall on plane and then shut down quickly, you're going to push a big wave right through into the lock, and it's going to make it really hard for everybody in front of you to hold on. boats to come out and then line up behind this go fast and this blue sea ray and go in. Unless the lock is super crowded, which rarely happens, you're going to be going in on the, uh, the wall where the big house is and then in this direction it's on the port side or the left side. One really important thing about getting your boat ready to go through the lock, get your fenders out well before you get in there. Uh, this is a 35 foot Mariner. I only use two fenders. I put one uh, at the widest part of the boat and then one at the stern. And here's the important tip. Don't have them hanging down by the water. Have them right up on the rub rail because you're going to use that to pivot the boat on and off the wall. If you get them down at the water line, they're not going to do any good at all. You'll see a lot of people go into lock and dams with all kinds of gear. They'll have boat hooks and all this sort of stuff. It's really unnecessarily. In fact, usually boat hooks are just, they're more trouble than they're worth. It's a good idea if you've never d done this before to have at least two people on your boat. I've single-handed 35 and 40 foot boats through the locks before, but when you're learning how to do it, it's not a great idea. It can be done. Now if you look along the left wall as we get closer, you're going to see a stoplight. Probably a little hard to see just yet, but it's on the left wall and it's flashing green. Do not enter the lock unless you have a green light. When it's full, you'll see it red as boats are coming out the other way. Out of courtesy to the people that work in the locks, make sure that you get a green light before you go in. If you do not have a radio and you're by yourself or you're in a canoe or a really small boat or a jet ski, there is a way to signal for lockage and you'll see that shortly as we come up. On the wall, I think it's at the thousand foot marker right there, there's a little cord right by a ladder. If you pull that, it will alert the lock and dam people that you want to come through and they'll talk to you on a speaker and say it'll be 10, 15 minutes. Any size boat can go through the lock, from 15 barge tow boats to, I've seen kayaks, anything. It's all free. This is built by the Army Corps of Engineers in the 30s um, when they tamed the wild Mississippi. All right, my lovely assistant is going to go up in the bow now and get ready. can see the sign there, pull signal cord for lockage. That's if you don't have a radio and the lock isn't open, you need to talk to somebody to find out what's going on. If there's a towboat coming the other way, these locks were built, you know, 80 years ago. The towboats can't get through alone, so the big ones they have to divide in half. It'll take about 90 minutes for a large tow with 15 barges to get all the way through the lock. So, so you can be in for a long way. That's why it's great to have a radio. Uh, find out what the status is. Now 
hour in the lock itself, the river is really high right now, so if you look at the wall, our change in uh, altitude is really only going to be about 18 inches or 2 feet. You can see by the black marks on the wall how far we're going to go up or down. Hello. It's the nicest three days of summer, I think. So if you see on the wall, there's a guy in a green hazard shirt. He's gonna, he's the guy that hands out the lines. He'll hand out the bow line to the person in the bow, and, and I'm gonna run back and grab the stern line. Do not cleat the lines to your boat, especially if you're going down. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, that go fast boat knows what they're doing. Another courtesy thing: once you get your boat all settled in, shut your motors off. Lock number three. Lock number three. Pleasure trip. Lock three back. Lock three back to Volcon. So what you'll see when we're ready is it'll open the gates and a lot of rookies will fire up the motor right then and then peel right out. Big no-no. You gotta wait for the, you'll hear a big horn go off and then you're clear to leave the lock. Although you want to go one boat at a time. You don't want to raise people out of the lock. Take your time. Be cool and everything's great. Be nice to the lock guys on really hot days. They do take free popping water. And occasionally beer, although they never admit to it. <laughs> Some of the crazier slips on the river, like uh, up in Minneapolis, where it's about a 40-foot lift, probably a good idea to have a PFD on beer on the deck. But here, it's just there's no current. Fall off the boat, just swim to the back and get in. Yeah, well, Worst thing is everybody will laugh at you. You can see the doors start to open. Good time to start the motors.
that was a good example. Those two people in front of us know what they're doing. Took their turns. Coming out nice and slow. Making way to the right for the other boats coming in. Those historians, if you look at there, right next to the 700 foot marker, you'll see the high water mark of the flood in 1965. This whole thing was underwater. We're about 14 feet up in the air, so, and the river's really high right now. Must have been something. A lot of current going over the dam. You see the sea ray going sideways here. Unusually high for July. So, it's the end of the video. I'm going to be nice and mellow here until we get to the end of the wall. And you can open it up. Have fun.